everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Petra and uh, thanks so much for stopping by if you're new and welcome back if you have been watching my videos. So today I'm just gonna do a look on this. It's kind of a grungy kind of look. I just use mostly all of the Anastasia Modern Renaissance and the subculture and the prism palettes for this look. So, Anyways, I'm not gonna blab a whole lot, so let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so I am going to, I think, do a take on like a really smoky, grungy eye. Um, so I already have my base down, I already have my brows done. I think I'm gonna first go in just with a regular Sigma E40 brush here. I'm gonna go into the shade um, Dawn right there in the this is in the subculture palette and it's just kind of a it's coming out a little more yellow on camera I think but it is actually like a peach very light tan shade and I'm just gonna kind of blend that over my whole eye and set the primer that I put down I go in with this real techniques essential crease brush that looks like this I'm gonna go into the shade uh, Love Letter in the Modern Renaissance palette. It's right there. And I'm just blending that shade into the crease and out past the outer corner of my eye. Blending, blending, blending. Just gotta keep on blending that. I'm gonna go into this deeper red shade right here. This is um, Venetian Red. So now I'm going to go underneath my eye with the same shades um, in order, but I'm going to try and what I meant to do that earlier, but I'm going to really blow them out. So first I'm going to go in with Bonfresco and take that underneath. And this is um, a Luxie 223 brush and going in with Venetian Red. This is really going to give it that grungy effect that I want is by taking it underneath pretty low on the lash line. I'm kind of giving myself that like black eye sort of look, but hopefully it's cooler looking than an actual black eye. <laughs> and then I've left space on the center of my lids because I want to go in with something a little bit darker and I'm having a hard time deciding what. So I'm gonna go in with this all-star shade in the subculture palette and it's got kind of a brownish plum tone to it and I'm gonna take that all over my lid and then I'm gonna blend that out and I'm gonna take that Sephora brush Gonna go over the top with this shade in the uh, Modern Renaissance palette called Antique Bronze. And I'm gonna take my finger. That one has a little bit of a shimmer in it, and I'm just gonna pat that on the top. It kind of gives it a little bit of a shimmery, like a very slight shimmery. It's still pretty dark, but. It gives it kind of a nice little like sheen to it. I'm gonna go in now with like just a black liner. I'm gonna use this um, one I have from ColourPop. I can't ever remember the name of what, it's called like Swerve or something. It's the, it's just the black one from ColourPop. So I'm gonna go in with that in my waterline. I'm gonna take this Linda Hallberg uh, 333, um, kind of like a liner shader brush. I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Prism palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Obsidian, which is that dark black shade right there. And I'm gonna take that, just kind of go over that gel liner just a little bit to smooth it out. And 
Then I'm gonna go in with my MAC 217 into the same obsidian shade, and I'm gonna actually take it out into the outer corner because I'm gonna blend out a little bit of black just to deepen up the corners a little bit more. Continuing to blend out the shades with my Sephora 19 brush and just kind of bring that out. All right, you guys, so I am going to clean up the fallout right here and then I am going to put on some mascara and lashes and then I'll be back so we can finish up the face. Guys, I am back. Here I am with the crazy grungy eye now fully with my lashes and I went in with a little more liner and then cleaned up the edges and then all the fallout that I had which was really annoying me. So hopefully that's all better now. Um, so now I just need to contour, highlight, and do some lips. So I am going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette right here. And I'm just gonna go in with the shades. I'm gonna use these two shades and I'm gonna contour pretty heavily because I want it to kind of go with the look. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. blush palette. It's the dark shades and I'm gonna go in with this, a little bit of this. I think it'll go pretty well with my look and kind of the whole darkness thing we're going for here. So I'm just gonna barely tap into that. And I'm gonna kinda do it into the contour, but then blend up my cheeks just a little bit. Very, very, very pigmented. But it's kind of the look I'm going for with the harsh contour and then I just kind of want a little bit more color which I know probably looks like a lot more color than normal but this is just to kind of go with the rest of the look and then I'm gonna go in with highlights so I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette here and I'm gonna go in first with the shade Helia which is this like greenish shade and it tends to look, I don't know, it looks more gold green on the skin, but it's really cool looking. All right, so I am going for a lip. I'm gonna go in with this, I haven't used this in a long time. It's the Tartist Lip Paint, and it is in the shade Rave. Oh my gosh, what kind of color would that be? It's like kind of a mauve but not kind of a purple but not like a muted gray purple sort of almost all right you guys so i went and put on my earrings because you know i always have to have earrings and just a different top and which is just a tank top you know yippee anyways this is the finished look my grungy kind of funky dark look. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!